I'm sorry if I don't know how your kids are or how your career has advanced. Or the simple fact if you still prefer a skirt to pants. And I'm even more sorry that I'm unaware of what happened to your dreams. Did you let them loose like those butterflies we used to keep in jars to examine their beauty? Or did you hide them deep and never seek them again? Are your fears still there like those ghost stories that weren't real but scared us nonetheless? Or did you lose them along with your newfound confidence? Now it's almost weird to realize I used to know your every private thought. To think that I was at the center of your universe and you at mine. That once we were tight like a seam connecting two fabrics. You smooth and soft and I rough and bold. Still beautifully connected in the middle. Making a whole new pattern which we showed the world. And long before we learned to knit, we'd already woven up our own universe. Stitch after stitch linking our stories together to make the world's longest running chain of years spent together. We never thought that anything could rip that seam apart. You and I, close-knit, with a golden thread of promises that were never left unsaid. Because back then, everything was spoken. And when things are spoken, they become true. Private secrets become real when they're shared. Opinions voiced out become who you are and words spoken back and forth, back and forth binds us together. Because I know you better than anyone and you know me. But then suddenly, you hurt me. But what I didn't realize, it was a hurt given in return. I'd already offended you before I knew it. And I still don't know why things change because some things go unspoken after the damage is done. I tried to ask you what's wrong, but as you refused to say, we started fading away as it never happened, as we never happened. Word by word, left unspoken, stitch by stitch, you loosen the strings to let me go. The seam was ripped open like a wound, the edges torn, leaving ends dangling with nothing to hold on to anymore. With time, I found that loose ends can find new ties, new connections can be made and new seams found. But though we can smooth the surface after a time, now you have other patches in your quilt surrounding you tight on every side. But they don't know who you were. With even a giant needle and thread, they can't ever stretch that far to patch up those broken links in your past, but I could. Since I know where the gaps lie, where the edges were left undone, I'd like to mend them so that no one can see where the old seam ends and the new one begins. Since the beauty in patchwork is that though these once blazing colors of our fabrics have faded over time, they've worn out their hardness now, and side by side they could be comfortable together. But I'm sorry. These are all words I can't tell you, because now we're past that point. So these just remain thoughts for an old friend, still left unspoken.